Welcome to my channel don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. A little learning, indeed, may be a dangerous thing, but the want of learning is a calamity to any people. Where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, and where any one class is made to feel that society is an organized conspiracy to oppress, rob and degrade them, neither persons nor property will be safe. A battle lost or won is easily described, understood, and appreciated. But the moral growth of a great nation requires reflection, as well as observation, to appreciate it. I prefer to be true to myself, even at the hazard of incurring the ridicule of others, rather than to be false, and to incur my own abhorrence. Everybody has asked a question. And they learned to ask it early of the abolitionists, what shall we do with the Negro? I have had but one answer from the beginning, do nothing with us, your doing with us has already played the mischief with us. It is not light that we need, but fire it is not the gentle shower, but thunder, we need the storm, the whirlwind and the earthquake. Slaves sing most when they are most unhappy, the songs of the slave represent the sorrows of his heart and he is relieved by them, only as a naking heart is relieved by its tears. In a composite nation like ours, as before the law, there should be no rich, no poor, no high. No low, no white, no black, but common country, common citizenship, equal rights and a common destiny. A smile or a tear has not nationality joy and sorrow speak alike to all nations, and they, above all the confusion of tongues, proclaim the brotherhood of man. Those who profess to favor freedom, and yet deprecate agitation, are men who want crops without plowing up the ground, they want rain without thunder and lightning. For of all slaveholders with whom I have ever met, religious slaveholders are the worst, I have ever found them the meanest and basest the most cruel and cowardly, of all others. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Those who profess to favor freedom, and deprecate agitation, are men who want crops without plowing up the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. The thought of only being a creature of the present and past was troubling. I longed for a future too, with hope in it, the desire to be free, awakened my determination to act, to think, and to speak. They'll read and sing a sacred song, and make a prayer both loud and long, and teach the right and do the wrong. Hailing brother, sister, throng, with words of heavenly union 